Hello comrades, here is how we show our damage text. So when I click somewhere, there is text appearing with random damage value and I will teach you how to do it today in a short time. So let's see what we have. We we'll need just two scripts. So we need flank text script, which will put exactly on the text and we'll need a manager for it. So we can spawn this text and also I will use it for clicking. We just use this dummy character. All it needs to have is collider of any kind and also plane has collider so we can click on it. I have main camera and directional light. So on main camera, I just put this flying text manager and let's just start with flying text. So here it is. It's pretty simple. So we just have set up text function where we just assign the new text that we passed to our text mesh. We have a reference to our text mesh, which we drag to the prefab. And we have update function, which basically takes the position of the text, then uh, subtracts the position of the camera. And we use it in look at, so we rotate the text always to face the camera. We use camera main transform up, so basically up of the camera as our up of the world, so that it rotates perfectly to look at us. So this is basically everything we have for flying text. And flying text manager is a bit more complicated, but still pretty simple. So we have to have a reference for flying text prefab, basically to our damage text. We want to have some distance, so for how long it flies up, and the speed, how fast it flies. So what we need to do, we need to basically get input from the mouse and cast a ray. That's a standard ray casting. You can actually look it in uh, documentation of Unity. And what we do when we actually succeeded with raycast, we spawn our text and we pass a value from 20 to 50 in a string format. So it will be damage from 20 to 50. How do we spawn our text? We store the spawn text once we instantiate it from the flying text prefab. Then we set the position to spawn point, which is the exact hit point that we got from raycast. So basically from clicking, we pass this point and then we set it as a position. Then we get flying text component, this one, from the text that we just found and set up the text using this function to text that we pass from here, which is random value from 20 to 50. And then we start a coroutine to move this text. So here is move, it's an enumerator, so it's a coroutine. And we pass our game object that we just found. So it will be called this text object here. What we need to do, we need to set up our target Y, so target height. We do it by taking our text object and adding fly distance, that is our parameter. So basically it will fly higher than the starting Y by our distance, which is by four. So four units higher than it was created at and then position. Then we just do a loop and we compare our current position of this text with our target, just the Y coordinate because we fly up for simplicity. And if it's less than target, then we just increase it by vector three up multiplied by speed so we can control how fast it goes. And we use also time delta time just to make it uh, more per frame uh, fluent. Basically what it does, it increments it uh, by the time from the next frame. So when you have frames with different timings, for example, one frame is uh, 10 milliseconds and another one is 30, it moves exactly the same amount of distance. Otherwise the frames are different. This is called every frame. You get jumpy movement. So the speed, I set it here to one, but I will set it to two in the editor. We increase the position by this value 
and we wait for the next frame more or less which is done by yield return null and after it reaches the point our target height we just destroy our text object that's technically all you need to set up the flying text so let's see we have our main camera i set the speed to 2 flying distance to 4 and you just grab your prefab here and here is the prefab it's very simple i just created game object 3d object 3d text so here's our 3d text and that's basically as you can see the same thing the only difference is that here i also referenced it that's it so if you want to have this awesome text just do it if you like this tutorial or any of my other tutorials please subscribe and also put a like on this video i hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video.